Every parent wants what is best for their child. However, not every parent is given the same opportunity to advocate for their child's best interest in the way that they should. Providence, Rhode Island identified this need and with funding from Bloomberg, Bloomberg Philanthropies has developed innovative programming which aims to close the gap that so many of our young children face. Our program, Providence Talks, supports families in identifying this need and helping them to prioritize talk and engagement at a time when children need it most, those first three years of life. Something we know is talk builds the brain. We must talk to our children. This simple fact can appear overwhelming to families who don't have the supports to in place to understand its importance. Every parent, every parent, has the ability to transform the trajectory of their child's learning. Together, we can help them to actualize this potential. Together, we can inspire parents to be their child's first and most important teacher. As a new mother and teacher, I have witnessed firsthand the disparity in opportunity for young people. As a home visitor, I have worked with families who question the importance of their language. They, they question whether their experiences are even worth discussion. I have met families who only take their child out of the home for periodic pediatrician appointments. I have met two-year-olds who have never experienced rain and have never touched grass. This has to change. Every experience, no matter the monetary value of its impact, is worth our recognition. And I'll tell you what, it's worth our language. Here is a picture of my son, Milo. We're going to leave this up for a little bit of extra time. He was born in December of 2015. I am a mother, a new mother, with all of the supports necessary within immediate access. I have the experience and the knowledge um, and family within very close distance of where I live. And even with these supports, I felt incredibly alone and a question my ability to parent. Imagine how others without these fortunate circumstances feel in those first few months of parenting. This is where Providence Talks comes in. Providence Talks recognizes parents as their child's first and most important teacher. Through practice and research, we understand the importance of enhancing engagement within a child's life and within their home and the impact this will inevitably have on the child's future. For most families, our program will be the first introduction they have into the education system. As a mother and as a teacher, I take this responsibility very seriously. Our children are the first and most important step to closing the sequence of gaps that trouble our nation. We must prioritize our children and we must support our families. In Providence, Rhode Island, we identified a problem. Over two thirds of our children enter kindergarten behind on literacy state tests. A key cause of disparity between low-income children and their higher-income peers is the language environment of the household they grow up in. Research shows that low-income children have heard 30 million fewer words than their higher-income peers by the time they enter kindergarten. Researchers Hart and Risley term this disparity the word gap. I call it deplorable. Through our innovative programming, Providence Talks aims to close that word gap and the resulting achievement gap to support families in developing the language environment of, in their home to, develop, to improve the development of their children. Providence has defined the word gap as the first and most important gap in a series of gaps to damage the nation. Providence Talks is the first program which aims to close the word gap at a citywide scale. By coaching parents to use more words during the critical brain development years, Providence aims to close the word gap one child at a time. The goal is to increase engagement be between parent and child. Through use of our curriculum, trained home visitors introduce and model strategies to improve both the quantity and the quality of language interaction. These strategies are, are integrated into their existing daily activities, cooking, mealtime, laundry. The Providence Talks intervention is targeted to influence parent behavior, creating long-term benefits for children who then grow up in healthy language environments. For teachers like myself, this can feel counterintuitive to target the parent. Researchers estimate that a child should hear between 19,000 and 21,000 words in a day. To monitor progress towards this benchmark and their personal goals, each participating family is given a small wearable recording device which counts the number of words the child hears and the number of parent-child conversational turns taking place in the home. 
These devices record all of what a child hears in the course of a day, and software analyzes the recording and counts the number of words, number of parent-child interactions, and the amount of television the child is exposed to. The recording, which is never listened to, is then immediately deleted, and the, re and the results are this easy-to-read feedback report that shows parents their progress. This technology was developed by our partners in Colorado, the Lena Research Foundation. The coaching services are delivered through three different models, each of which follow a curriculum specifically designed for the program. We offer home visiting, we offer parent and child playgroups, and a professional development series for early childhood professionals. We have some very early results, but they're promising. Over 1,000 children have enrolled in Providence Talks. Over 160 children have graduated from our programming. 32 trained professionals are delivering high quality service to increase engagement and talk for families in Providence. Over 4,700 children books have distribu been distributed to families. And two thirds of our families make progress in the, pro in the program as demonstrated by increased language use within the home. The word gap is the first gap in a series of gaps, and this disparity affects not only our children, it affects our community and our country. These are our children. Their futures directly influence the growth and success of our nation. We must invest in our young people from day one. Our investment in their learning benefits us not only as individuals, we benefit as a community and as a country because of the, develop, of the contribution their developed intellect and abilities provide. We are not able to realize our potential as a nation until we prioritize the development of our children. There is an inherent injustice in denying all children the same opportunity to succeed. The same opportunity I have been able to provide for my son, Milo. I believe in every child's ability to thrive. I believe in their ability to succeed. Please join Providence and my son, Milo, as we join Providence in this fight to close the 30 million word gap.